In addition to the character object, C-Motion, Muscles, and X-Refs, there are several smaller enhancements to the animation workflow of Cinema 4D Release 13. The default interpolation values for new keyframes are now much easier to access and adjust within the project settings. Now you can add the interpolation attributes to the HUD and easily switch between linear, stepped, and spline interpolation. Modifying F-curves is much more intuitive because the viewport now updates as you drag the points and handles of the curve to reflect the change in values. Resetting the tangent length or angle to zero can now easily be done via a shortcut and no longer acts as a toggle, so you can quickly reset the tangents and continue modifying them. There's now also commands to unify the tangent length and angle so both the left and right tangents are the same. There's a new option as well to maintain the visual angle between two tangents as you adjust either one. You can now double click to rename a timeline marker and select multiple timeline markers to adjust them as a group. Markers are now fully accessible within the C++ and Python API for additional extensibility and can be exported to After Effects via the compositing exchange. There's four new commands within the character menu that can be very useful for more than just character work. The project object command allows you to easily place an object inside or on the surface of other objects in your scene. Objects or selected points are projected based on the current camera view and modifiers determine what type of projection is used. The replace with command allows you to replace one object with another while maintaining the original object's tags, layers, animation, user data settings, and more. The options dialog allows you to choose exactly what should be replaced. The set parent command allows you to easily relocate the selected objects within the hierarchy to a new parent, much as you would by dragging and dropping them in the object manager. The main difference is that set parent uses a pick session so you merely have to click on the new parent within the view or the object manager. The unparent command removes the selected object from its hierarchy. If you hold the shift key down while using this command, the selected object will be removed from the hierarchy while all of its children remain. Often it's the little things, the seemingly minor tweaks that accelerate and optimize your workflow and this hodgepodge of animation enhancements very likely includes a few of those features you'll find you can't live without.